Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I want to show you guys how I created my MCAT study schedule and I want to help you determine how much time you actually have to allocate each day and in general the studying for the test so that you can put it together and create something that's super organized and will help you do amazing on the day. Okay, so first let's just start with how much time you should actually be putting into studying every day and how to know what to study. So I wanna start off with four questions that you can ask yourself in order to determine how much time you need to study. So the first one is how much time do you have before you actually have to take the test? You definitely wanna consider how flexible you can be with your time. The second question is similar and it is how much time do you actually need to study? Not in terms of how much time do you have before you have to take the test, but how much time do you think you will need to master the material and actually do well? Obviously, this depends a ton on how well you know the content, how good of a test taker you are, and how confident you feel with everything that's tested and the types of questions that will be asked. Third, are you better with studying for a longer period of time with less study time during the day? Or are you better with the opposite? You have to think about how well you study during a given time period. And fourth, what other commitments do you have? Are you full-time in college right now or do you have the whole summer to study? If you have a good amount of time off, that will definitely help you so much, but obviously that's not realistic for everyone. So you just wanna take that into account because if you are in school full-time or let's say you're working full-time or you have some sort of other obligation, then that will definitely be a factor you need to consider when you know that you have to give yourself a longer time to study. I think when you're figuring this out, it's really important to be realistic about how much time you can put in. Like if you say that you're gonna put in eight hours every day and you have school going on or you have other things, I think you need to consider that, but you also do need to push yourself and make sure you are studying a lot. Okay, so let's get on to how I actually studied. So during the content phase, I did pretty consistently about two cars passages, I would say probably about five to six days a week. Now, in my last MCAT video, I talked about the reason that I believe at least it is so important to start cars early and do as many practice passages as possible. Now, I just think this is something that can help you so much, especially since cars is a very tricky subject for a lot of people. I started off kind of shaking in cars and then my practice test got really, really good towards the end. I didn't do as well as I wanted to on the actual day. It was the one, I think it was the one section where my score actually dropped probably about one or two points. I think I was getting like 130s on the practice test and I ended up getting a 128 on the real thing. So I will say that I think that my study habits in terms of doing two cars passages a day was super, super helpful at the beginning because I was very good at increasing my car scores very gradually. And I think that's what ultimately helped me. And since I did so many cars passages, I was able to figure out exactly what the MCAT wanted in terms of cars and how they would ask questions and just the types of answers that they would usually go for. So that was super helpful for me. For bio, I did one to two hours a day in terms of reading and doing some basic practice questions. And I did that about four to five days a week. And then for chem phys, I would do about an hour, three to four days a week. So that was my daily schedule at the beginning when I was just doing content. For Psych and Soch, I did have to do a lot of content review for that, but personally that was a section that was a lot easier for me to study. And so I started studying for that section a little bit later. So when I actually got to that, I was doing similar to bio. I think it was probably about five days a week one to two hours of reading and some basic questions and learning the terms as well and learning all the terms that I needed to know. But I think that it was easier to do that once I had a pretty good grasp on chem and phys and bio at that point. Okay, so then for the part of my studying where I got to more passages 
and more practice tests. So I did a practice test for, I think I did seven in total. Yeah, so I did seven. I did three next step practice tests. And then I did th four, there's four at AMC practice tests. So for the seven weeks before I actually took my test, every Friday, since I took my actual test on Friday, I would do a practice test. I would sit down, I would take the whole thing, the whole eight hour experience, and then after I did that, I would take the rest of the day off. This I think is really important just because the practice tests are very exhausting. They take a lot of mental energy and mental endurance, and so I think it's really important to make sure that after you actually do it you kind of take the night off and then maybe the next day that is when you look at your scores and why you got what you did and you go through each question that you got wrong and you try to look at it in more detail honestly reviewing the practice test was so 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 helpful for me and it helped me raise my scores so much you know that's a thing that you might not think would be that helpful because there's just so much content and there's so much that they can ask you. But I think just going through this practice test, learning the content that's very, very high yield, and then also making sure that you have a feel for the types of questions they ask is so important. And then at that point as well, I was learning the content that I was getting wrong on my practice test, or maybe I got right, but I wasn't very clear on. So I would kind of hone down on the content that was mentioned in those questions and make sure that I knew that content 100% before I took my next practice test. So what I would do is I would go through each question that I got wrong, look at what content it was referring to, and then I would make sure that I studied that and I knew 100% what it was and I was able to answer questions on that topic before going to the next one. During that time, I was also doing a lot of the AAMC practice passages through the bundle that I talked about in the last video as well. I'll link it down below again, but that was super, super useful in making sure that I was doing as much practice as I possibly could. I think in terms of how much time I actually put in at this point, it was kind of difficult to know because I was still in school, I think until mid-May. So I had a solid two weeks before I took my test where I had nothing to do. And that was like the best time ever because I could just straight study, but I was spending actually a lot less time on school and other things. I wasn't really hanging out with people, to be completely honest, like my social life was dead. I just wasn't really doing anything that fun, to be honest with you guys. So it allowed me to spend a lot more time and I didn't have necessarily like a set number of hours. It just kind of depended on how much time I had that day. Okay, so now I want to show you guys how I actually made my study schedule. And so let's just dive into Google Sheets. I'll show you guys exactly what I did. It's not too complicated, but I think that if you kind of want a good outline, this could probably help you. So I'm on Google Sheets right now and I've just made a new sheet that's called MCAT study schedule, as you guys see here. And so basically what I've done so far is I have made the titles of the date that you're actually studying, the time, the subject or topic of study. So, you know, bio, cars, whatever, the notes. So there I'll put the chapter maybe that I'm studying or, you know, something along those lines. Maybe I'll say cars, two passages, cars, one passage, something like that. And then I will also put a score if I was doing a cars passage or if I was doing something else, like some sort of practice questions, then I will put that there as well. Okay, so I just wanna note this wasn't my actual one. I just created a new one that's basically a copy because mine was so messy and I just wanted to show you guys something that was easy from the beginning. So let's just start a date. So let's just say 517 like today. And let's say you're gonna start studying at nine and you're gonna go through 12 or something. So first I would put cars passages, or you could just write cars and then just say two passages. And then here I'm gonna put the score. And so I'll come back to that, let's say, whenever I do those passages. And then 
let's say at 10 after I've gone through the passages, I did them and then I reviewed them, I am going to do, I don't know, bio. And I'm gonna do maybe like chapter two reading content review. So let's say that is when you are going to do your bio and you're gonna do your chapter two reading and you're gonna take notes and you are gonna make sure that you know all the content for that. So that's pretty much what you do. And then let's say you're gonna do that for two hours. So then, okay, so it'd be like nine to one, instead of nine to 12. So then at 12, you're gonna do chem practice problems and let's say you do like 20 questions or something like that. And then you'll put your scores here. So let's say you got like a 12 out of 20, you know, whatever that is. And let's say on cars, you got like a 10 out of 14. I don't know, just making this up. That's pretty much how you do it. And then within each day that you study, so for each day on top of here, I'm gonna highlight this a different color. So let's say yellow. And then the next day that I study 518, then I can just easily separate them. So yeah, that's pretty much what I do and how I organize it. It's super simple. I just wanted to show you guys something that's pretty easy <laughs> and I'm sure you guys could figure it out by yourself. But that's just something that I do that, that I think is just really helpful. Hopefully this showed you how to actually structure your study time so that you're planned and you're as organized as possible. I know that you know, this does require a little extra work, but it's really not difficult at all. And it just helps so, so, so much. So make sure that you do that. It helps you also stay on track of how much you've actually been studying. So you might think that you're studying a lot and then you actually look at how much you're studying and you realize you really have not been studying as much as you think you have. And that's maybe why you're not doing as well as you wanna do. So. Yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about with you guys. I hope this was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'd really love to hear if any of you had any other types of study schedules or planning methods that you found were super, super useful. Let me know if you have any questions and please subscribe, like this video, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.